Hi, this is Mark Evanstein with music.py, and this is a Python music short. So for today's Python music short, I thought it'd be cool to talk about nested for loops. Um, so what you've got here, we've got importing everything from the scamp libraries, creating a session S, creating a violin and storing it in the variable violin. So that's what we're going to be using for this. Um, and I've also imported uh, the scale object from scamp extensions.pitch. And the scale object is a super useful tool. So um, if I import scale and I say uh, scale equals scale dot, let's see, we could do minor or major uh, 60. And that's creating a C because it starts on 60 major scale. And we can index into that scale with scale zero gives us 60, that's middle C. Scale one gives us 62, that's D, and then E, and then scale three only goes up by a half step to F. Um, and you can also do negative values, and you can even do fractional values, but I'm not sure how useful that is. But anyway, so what we're going to do here is we're going to create a D minor scale, and then we're going to, well true, so forever, for K in range three, so K is going to take on the value zero, one, two. Um, we're going to play a note on the violin in the D minor scale at that scale degree. So first it's going to play D when K is 0, then E when K is 1, then F when K is 2. Um, so let's take a listen to that. Great, so that's an infinitely looping for loop inside of a while loop. But I promised you nested for loops. So to do that, let's put a for loop around this for loop. So h, i, j, k, l will be our next variable name. And now instead of just indexing the scale at k, I'm going to index it at k plus l. So k is going to go from 0, 1 to 2, while l is 0. And then l is going to be 1, and k is going to go from 0, 1, 2. Then l is going to be 2, and k is going to go 0, 1, 2. Um, and the result sounds like this. So we've got an inner layer of structure and an outer layer of melodic structure. But why stop there? Let's add yet another layer of nesting. So I'll indent all of this and H-I-J-K-L-M and I'll add an M right here. And let's listen to that. Again, the reason it keeps repeating forever is just because the entire thing is wrapped inside of a wow true loop. So let's take it one level further. H I J K L M N. Let's do four layers of nested for loops. And add the n here. And to hear it a little bit better when there's this much nesting, I'm going to set the tempo a little faster. So s.tempo equals 120. And let's listen to it. And there it's repeating again. So what I really like about this example is that it shows us something about how music is structured and the relationship between musical structure and code structure. Um, music is a nested thing, right? So you might have notes which make up gestures, which make up phrases, which make up, um, you know, sections of a piece of music, which make up movements, which make up entire compositions. Um, and this kind of uh, nested arrangement, uh, we're doing that same kind of thing by nesting a for loop inside of a for loop inside of a for loop inside of a for loop. The last thing that I say it's kind of fun is that because we use this scale object, we can actually easily shift it around and change the scale that it's conforming to. So instead of uh, pitch 60, we can go up to maybe pitch 70. And instead of a natural minor scale, we could do an octatonic scale, uh, which is one of my favorites. And let's see how that sounds. So there you go. Thanks for watching. 
If you'd like to try any of this yourself, I've put links in the description. And if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, or ask your doctor if Musamil is right for you.